first met Spooky at a concert um, where we had some mutual friends there. And it was down in Hamilton, New Jersey in 2008. And it was just a very quick, hey, how's it going, handshake, nice to meet you. I interacted with him via email. He was the first person who I ever talked to on the psychos at all. My first thoughts on Spooky were, man, they really do let the freaks out in the daytime too. Outside of roller derby, um, I was around 14 and I liked his band and I thought he was really cute and that's kind of how I knew him and I never talked to him because I thought he was way out of my league and then many years later obviously we wound up talking again and you know dating and getting married um, so <laughs> my first impression was just that he was really cute but I mean obviously I got to know him and got to see what a wonderful person he is and you know fall in love with them so <laughs> spooky skated on up and he said get the fuck out of the car it's just a little bit of water you're not gonna melt you fucking pussies so I think maybe my first impression was that he was kind of a dick my first <laughs> thoughts on spooky were wow what a little dick and I love it he comes across so strong and so hard, and he has the biggest heart of anyone I've ever known. He's amazing. It was a cold uh, winter night. Uh, it was in the month of February. Uh, I remember he had a lantern in the middle of the track, and I showed up a little late. And he's like, um, he's like, oh, just make sure you don't stay in the middle, and you don't want you to get burned by the lantern. But um, welcome to the team, and I uh, hope you enjoy everything and have a, have a lot of fun, and we'll see when. Uh, We'll see what happens. And now I'm here and it's been four years later. I saw a glimpse of a tall guy in a scarecrow hat give Razor a hug. <laughs> um, and so uh, then I met the scarecrow guy named Spooky and he came to band practice with us and he hung out with us and it was really cool. I'm just, you know, answering an ad and this lanky guy on skates who doesn't look like he's on skates because the fact that uh, he looks like he was born with them on but long flowing hair bandana on uh, scraggly goatee yes I said scraggly and uh, he's just very open and just uh, he brings you in uh, there's something about his his personality and the way he talks to you that just makes you feel like you're at home. Spooky gives off a really powerful first impression. He's a very vibrant person with a lot of energy and people are just drawn to him. Uh, he was really inappropriate and made lots of terrible jokes and had an amazing energy and he was just the type of person that you wanted to be around and that you wanted to make sure that you lived up to his expectations. Flat out, wow. How can I learn how to do that? I have never seen footwork on a jammer in the way that he manages to move. And I still can't figure out how the hell he does it. I need training, and I need training from Spooky to even get halfway there. I guess it makes it a little harder for me because I'm not an actual skater, so I don't get the actual time with him like that. You know what though, what's good about him? He makes time for everybody. Mm -hmm. Anytime I text him or email him with a question, he makes the time. It may not be immediately, but when he answers me back, he actually answers me. It's not just quick one word, well, um, you know, right to the point. He'll, he'll yeah. give a full, None of this a I full answer. Shit. My first impressions of Spooky were I thought he was cocky and arrogant <laughs> and full of himself. And like I said before, I thought he was, you know, really cute and... So I thought, like, oh, this guy totally doesn't want to talk to me. But obviously, like, first impressions don't always, you know, mean anything. So, you know, getting to know him and, and knowing him now, like, if I were to meet him now, my first impressions would be exactly what they are of him, that he's funny and sweet and encouraging and, 
you know, he's just an open and honest person who treats his friends and loved ones, you know, with nothing but respect and, you know, that he's just an overall wonderful person. Spooky taught me a lot, of, a lot about uh, believing in myself, getting over the bound, uh, getting over a lot of the stuff that I had flaws with, uh, getting out of my head was a big thing. Um, he taught me how to be a better person, how to listen and keep quiet and then speak. Um, he also taught me uh, a lot of tricks and, and how to also uh, skate the track by following him. He's always like, do like Spooky does. And a lot of you guys, everybody's heard that on the track as in practices and stuff. And he, um, you know, it, I give him a lot. I thank him a lot for all the stuff he's shown me. And believing in me was a big part of it. So I thank him for all of that. Spooky has taught me that no matter what, you can always be better than you were yesterday. Um, he strives for a lot of positives, not only in his own life, but to reach out to everybody else when somebody's feeling down, when somebody's, you know, down on themselves especially. And I think that's one of the best things about him. Spooky's that one crazy motherfucker who always says it like it is, and yet he's such a damn poet that you completely take it for everything that he means it for. I can't imagine not having met him. And um, just keep it up, you crazy son of a bitch. Spooky has taught me so much. And I'm not talking about skating. Uh, he's taught me everything about skating, really. But as far as dealing with people and just his philosophy on life and it transpire it transfers into skating is treating people like people uh the way he interacts with everybody on the team and we had have had and have so many different personalities and he just brings them all in and he knows how to talk to people on a one-to-one -one basis knows how to find what they need and one of the great things about Spooky is it's all genuine. You know, uh, I feel like I've never heard him say anything that he didn't mean. And it just, he's taught me just to accept everybody for who they are. Uh, not that I didn't do it before, but I think he's opened my eyes to a whole different way of doing it. You know, because everybody has needs, everybody has wants, and he has a way of just helping them find and satisfy those things. I'm fortunate to have somebody who's better than me who has a very similar body type. So a lot of the problems that I have with Derby are things that he's experienced in the past and therefore he's able to really help me with. Uh, I also look forward to him to continuing to teach me. Spooky has always been a really good friend to me. Um, he's really helped me learn that I shouldn't take shit from people and that sometimes it's okay to just not give a fuck. It's hard to say what Spooky has, uh, taught me or helped me with the most because he's helped me with so much, you know, in Derby and out of Derby <laughs> as I start crying. <laughs> Um, but, I mean, if it wasn't for him, I would have never had the courage to start Psycho 78s. And he's just like, you know, I mean, obviously he's taught me how to skate well, and, and he's helped me become a good captain when I thought I couldn't, you know, but he's also taught me how to you know, just appreciate life and what you have and, you know, how to, like, love wholeheartedly and, you know, just how to be a better person and how to be a happy person and how to be a positive person, you know, which is essential to, you know, living life and not just surviving.
I got an injury a couple years ago, messed up my back, and the doctors are now telling me that it's pretty much time to wrap it up. I couldn't believe it uh, when I heard it at the diner and uh, the big meeting we had, and uh, I was like, are you serious? Is this for real? Uh, I mean, is he going to just be out temporarily and come make a comeback? And then when he found out that it was permanent and he was, and it was, you know, I, we were sad, I was sad about it and it kind of hurt me a little bit. And, uh, but then when he found out that this was the best year, the best season for him to go out with a bang, uh, I was kind of happy to hear that and to, you know, and to skate the best season I could with him on and off the track, uh, on the same team or not, um, we were going to make the best of it and we did. He has his reasons for doing so, so have to wish him the best. And um, I think about all the time that we spent in our derby careers together, and it's been it's been a long ride. And in a lot of ways, I was able to see him grow from when he first started out assistant coaching on the team Razor and I were on forever ago and watching him learn how to skate. Uh, believe it or not, there was a point where I was a better skater than him. Um, of course, that window closed up pretty quickly. <laughs> he must be hurting really, really bad for him to ever give this up. I know how important it is for him and I know how much he loves it. I didn't really want to believe it. I'm like, okay, is this kind of a publicity stunt? Is this, you know, is he gonna come back, you know, kind of like what uh, some other skaters have done or, you know, even fighters. Uh, but knowing Spooky and, and the pain he was in from, you know, some of the injuries he's taken, uh, it was disheartening. You know, because it kind of, having him as a coach is amazing enough, but being on the same team with him in the HBD, the Astro Zombies, it's, it's special. At first I didn't believe it. I think that a lot of people didn't want to believe it, but he turned it into a positive and wound up making a great final season. I couldn't believe it, um, and I was just like, you know, I was just kind of like there had to be something they could do, but there wasn't, and it's hard because this is something we started together, so it's hard when you find something out like that because it's, uh, like, it's a big part of, you know, of us. It's It's like our baby, you know, and I know he always goes like, you know, you're the founder and it was your idea, but like I said before, you know, if it wasn't for him, it probably wouldn't have even happened because it was a lot of adversity and, you know, it would have been really hard to do all by myself. We want to get lots of hugs, we want to celebrate, we want to have some fun. There's too many favorite moments with Spooky. Um, there's too many to count. Every time with Spooky is a, definitely an event. Him and Razor came to my house when my ankle was all messed up and I'm high on all sorts of Percocet. And they came to visit me and they bought me sushi as a birthday gift. And they just sat there and just watched me gorge myself on delicious sushi. And it made me really happy and it made me feel better about my fucked up leg. The first game ever in Renegade arrives and after that game, like, everyone just like exploded with cheer and smiles and people were crying and people were laughing and I just remember like we went up to each other and we hugged and it was like, we did it. I sneakily snuck in as the third person into a brawl and uh, when Spooky was skating away, I reached out and tapped his ankle and he Superman jumped on me to brawl some more and all I could do was laugh and cackle. First, the final of the HBD when him and Lima go skating around and uh, that Astro Zombie victory where him and Razor finally got to have the championship together. That's always going to be there, but um, at the final bout of the day, it was going to be the final jam, 
and Spooky had just gotten us, you know, uh, four points ahead. And we thought there was one more jam going to happen. As I was standing on the side, he starts coming over to take the star off his helmet, and he hands it to me and says, you're the future. The first road trip we took up to New York, um, him and I were the first ones up in the entire house and everybody else was still passed out and him and I were up looking for coffee and uh, I remember him and I just talking and we hear a bang and we realized Slaughter had woken up and bashed his head into the door he was sleeping in front of and then knocked himself back out to sleep. When our team was failing and he was there checking on us to make sure that if there was anything he could do, that he would do it. And that support in so many ways changed how our team actually came together and stayed together. And definitely changed how I remained involved. He's always there to brighten my day. I have had lots of times where I just needed somebody to talk to and Spooky's always been there for me. So he's been a glimmer of hope pretty much since I've known him. Uh, so my entire experience of him is my very favorite thing. Um, quoting Spooky, what made my day, it made my day a lot better after having a bad practice than I thought, but uh, was believe in yourself like we believe in you, Slaughter. Remember, believe in heroes. I'll never forget it. Thank you, bro.